Hello and welcome to another Figuring Out Japan video and I'm very excited to be doing this review of the El Dorado Fortress. Now without giving a whole history lesson, the, uh, the term El Dorado is actually uh, a term used by the Spanish to refer to actually several different things but generally a mythical city or even a mythical empire in uh, South America and uh, if you, you're interested in history and that there's some very interesting stuff that you can read. I actually watched a documentary that I'll put a link to in the description of this video about it. But uh, actually this, this El Dorado Fortress actually also went by another name which I'll quickly show here in the catalog which is the Governor's Fort Sabre which is quite interesting because uh, in most parts of the world the Governor's Bastion was actually known as Sabre Island. So back then Lego did actually use alternate names for the different sets. Uh, now there's a few interesting things about this particular set. So firstly it was released in 1989 which means it was part of the original uh, Lego Pirate series, the very first one that actually came out. Um, it was therefore the very first uh, soldier's base it was also the largest uh, Imperial soldier set in that wave. It's actually much larger in terms of a piece count than the Caribbean Clipper. It is also the second largest Imperial soldier set that had been released only behind this set which was released a couple of years later. Uh, and then there was actually the Imperial um, ship that was released in 2010, the really big one, but in terms of the, the vintage uh, Lego Pirates, this was actually the second largest one that was ever released. It was larger than any of the Imperial Soldier ships. It's also a great way to get some minifigures because the Blue Coat uh, Soldiers didn't hang around for very long. The original Pirate Wave was pretty short compared to the second one which had the Red Coats, but uh, this one you actually got six minifigures. And I'm trying to see where they all are, but you get four soldiers, and you also get a sergeant, and you also get the governor. And the only other set that you could get the blue coat governor was the Caribbean Clipper, which actually has a yellow plume, but the one in the outer right of fortress has a red plume, but everything else is the same, so he's pretty rare. And you also did get two minifigures, which was the Captain, Captain Roger, and I think this guy's name is Will. And the story of this set is that, uh, I'll actually put a link to it in the description of this one as well. There's actually a commercial that they ran back then of this guy saving his beloved Captain. The other thing that's quite unique about this set actually is that it was the only set that you could actually get both the Admiral Captain and the Pirate Captain together. The only uh, the only other set that you can actually get that was the Imperials, again, the Imperial uh, Flagship, which was released in 2010. It's a massive set, um, and it was a Lego store exclusive. To get it now, you'd probably be looking at 700 plus. Um, but yeah, other than that one, I'm, I'm quite confident that this is the only one that you could actually get both the Soldier and the Pirate Captain together. So let's now have a look at some of the features of this set. So first you actually get two rowboats, so one for the soldiers and one for the pirates. You do get a base plate which was used in two other pirate sets and many many other Lego sets of this era. One was the Rock Refuge, although the colouring was slightly different and the trading port set as well. It does have two cannons and they do spin 360 degrees if you can get it past the wall. Unless you got the US version in which case the cannons would not shoot. Eight minifigures as I said you do get a crane and a prison. If I can get it open these can be a bit hard to get open sometimes. And you obviously get this big tower as well, which I can probably show here on a duplicate 
set. In fact, I think I actually added a couple of things in this one, which didn't come with the set, but just an extra glass and a little table and chair, but pretty big tower. And this is actually the largest, I think I said before, the, the second largest Imperial Soldier set and Imperial Soldier base, well, not including the flagship one in 2010. But LEGO did actually release new pirates in 2015, and they were blue coats. But this one is actually less than half the number of pieces than the Eldorado Fortress. So that gives you a bit of a perception of the size, and even if you actually get the other one that came with it, or you could get as well and combine the two, the Eldorado Fortress is still a good hundred pieces also bigger um, but that was what Lego released in 2015 so in terms of what I think about this set uh, there are probably a couple of criticism criticisms that I have of this set the first is that the crane uh, you can't actually wind it so you can use your finger to you know pull it up and whatnot but it doesn't actually have one of those winches like we saw in some of the other sets, like the the ship here for the anchor, it actually it's a bit hard to see, but there is actually a little wheel in there that you can wind it up. The Caribbean Clipper, in fact, most of the pirate ships had one. This one, for whatever reason, did not have that feature. Um, so yeah, it's a bit hard to sort of you know lower things up and down from a playability uh, perspective. The other one was. The cannon, and I really just love this this sort of top feature here, but the other one was this part here is pretty narrow and it's pretty hard to actually get a minifigure in there, especially when he's holding stuff. So you kind of have to have him standing on the side, which obviously looks a bit silly. Um, if I wanted to get a little bit more nitpick, I wouldn't really say these are complaints, but maybe just things that, I don't know, I'll just point out was that the door actually does leave a bit of a gap here, the way it was designed, so this is just meant to be one door, it's not a double door and uh, even when you close it fully, it does have a reasonably large gap and also the front would have been nice to have a uh, another blue base plate just like they did in the Rock Refuge. Here they had a piece that was half the size of the base itself and added that on the front. It would have been nice. So at least you could actually put the boats on a bit of water. But, um, you know, not a big deal. In terms of what I like about this set, I just love the look of it. I mean, it really looks like a fortress. And this is my favorite set uh, or favorite Imperial Soldier set. Even though it's smaller than the trading port set here is about a hundred pieces uh, smaller. It is worth noting that this has a lot of pieces for you know this trading ship which isn't really a soldier ship uh, and there's some pirates in here as well so it's probably got about the same number of pieces for the soldiers. It actually has one more soldier minifig but I just like the design of this one better. It, it's obviously from the first pirate series as well so it probably has a bit more importance and significance in that sense and I really like the blue coats, so I really like this um, this set. But just just the, the design of it, it, it sort of looks like a bit of a castle, and um, I, I just really like the way they do that. And it's built really well all the way around, as you can see on the side here. It's still got that pattern all the way around, and from any angle, this fortress looks. It looks well guarded, you know, it still has the cannons that can face you and it, it's a comment I've made with a few of the vintage LEGO Pirate sets, is from any angle, they just look really good. Um, you know, even from the back, they've, you know, put the detail and nice arches and things like that, so really good, completely enclosed prison, it went, you know, there's quite a lot of pieces in this part here, um, so really nice looking tower, some nice printed brick pieces and things like that so it just looks really good 
Um, even little things like this gun, it is actually on a, a little clip thing, so it can actually shoot down and angle down at the pirates trying to get up the wharf there. Unlike, again, if I go back to the 2015 set here, you can see there's a stud shooter at the top of the structure, uh, which is quite useless because you can't point it down at you know the pirates that you sort of want to be firing at. So they really thought about things um, back then. And there's even a little compartment here. And you know, you've got stairs with the wharf going up, you've got the stairs, and this sort of little tower that they could shoot from. You've got guns there that they can sort of face out at. And um, you know, the nice lights. It's just a really well completed set, and I think it's still even after you know over 25 years now, I think it's still better than you know the Lego that uh, that's being released these days. So it's a terrific set. Eight minifigures as well. I think that's you know pretty pretty generous given the size of this set. I don't think you could really expect much more, and you can man the fort you know pretty well with uh, six soldiers. And uh, I didn't show the doors here, but they can open up as well. And there's sort of a bit of a courtyard in there. And a lot of collectors and things, when they do mocks of uh, Imperial soldiers, they usually use this as a basis of design. But uh, I think it looks really, really good. It goes very well with... Um, the Black Seas Barracuda and it has some good height in it as well so the ships, I've, I've made this comment in a few of my videos, the ships actually look yeah, they're very big so they make the bases look small but even as you can see in this uh, you know old picture it does have good height in it so you can sort of have that that scene or that fight uh, going on and I'll just quickly show the box for this so as you can see they do actually have the name printed I don't think they did that with all of the sets and like sets at this time it does actually open open up and there's actually a uh, A story which I'm not going to read but I'll let you pause it pause the video and read it if you like so that's really cool how they did that and just some pictures of it that's another thing you don't see these days Lego actually using real people or real kids in the, uh, in the images you can see even the design of the box it's really nice and just some different angles the set and then usually the back they have alternate builds which you can see there so I really love the design and the pattern in some of these old old scenes and there's just some more of the ship and I did actually forget to show this little door which pretty much all the sets that use this base have there's not really anything under there I guess you just have it as like a storage facility so if you're gonna get one Imperial soldier base this is the one I would recommend definitely I just love this set it's a very iconic set it was definitely groundbreaking uh, for its damage it still looks great 25 years later so that is set 6276, the El Dorado Fortress. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video.